Hi everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Today in this video I'm going to be showing you what I've been intending to do for quite the while <clears throat> with Motive Wave. The ability to connect Python with Motive Wave and uh, be able to trade and execute orders with crypto uh, with Motive Wave using Python. So first off, let, let's get started on what the requirements are. If you're new to all this, you can always come into the quantlabs.net book sign up, get some free books, and uh, get on the mailing list. I will let you know about other exciting stuff I got planned to leverage the power of good old MotorWave. I got to tell you about MotorWave first. They're a really impressive software company, small but personal, and they are awesome because they pretty well, I think, listen to um, all my videos and podcasts and stuff, so I really appreciate that and what they've done for me to show the power of this stuff and now being able to use the power of Python to be able to bridge all this fun stuff together with crypto. Now, um, part of the plan here is to show you if you need and want to learn about this service, all you gotta do is come under quantlabs.net, you'll find a store link. That will take you to my, what I call the reactivated, um, reactivated Shopify store. In there at the bottom, if you scroll down, you'll find this link, Quant Elite, um, most profitable trading membership. This is the price. I also throw up a lot of programming tips and it's a subscription to all of that fun stuff and I'll be showcasing a lot more power with Motive Wave, some of the strategies that I'm using and just on and on it goes. <clears throat> so you can watch the videos. These will be updated to integrate um, what I've been doing with Motive Wave as well. But for now, the power is here and let me show you how. Okay. So again, if you want to know more about Motive Wave, just come over to the quantlabs.net, click on the Motive Wave uh, link. That will take you into the partnership link that I've got set up via Motive Wave. Um, so hey, if you want to help out at my end, that's awesome. If not, just go to Motive Wave Direct. That's up to you. And it's motivewave.com. All right, so let's get into the exciting stuff. Let me first show you the benefits of crypto over something like Forex. This is using the good old um, Forex. Look at these really tiny moves. I'm always about percentages. Point, point, not even 1% moves, okay? This is uh, top six, um, USD, same thing. Look, look, I mean, you got one or two. When it gets good, you get over 1% Yahoo, all right? And then you need leverage to get the similar uh, type of changes you want. You've got all this stuff, 1.21%. I mean, this is the good stuff of, of, of Forex and you need crazy leverage to get the kind of returns that I'll show you in, um, in, for, in crypto. So that's Forex, just some of the more obviously popular major uh, pairs. You get other things like these two, Euro, Norwegian, Euro against Swedish. And when you look at uh, I believe the spread should be there, if not, but the spread is ex an exorbitant where you cannot trade and want to trade those pairs at all. So let's take a look at the world of crypto here. So crypto is, I got to say, is awesome. Never closes, is always open 24-7. Right now, because today is Friday, December 13th, guess what? The uh, global Forex markets closed down on late Friday, my time same as New York, so that's not a good thing. Meanwhile, over here at the crypto world, one of the benefits is you can run as many instances of Motive Wave you want on one system with one license. So if you ram up your uh, computer to run a lot of different instances of Motive Wave, it's another big benefit. So I'm gonna show you uh, the moves. Okay, these are the moves that we've got right now on a down day. Check it out, okay? I trade in Binance. Um, that is my choice of of the good old uh, Binance, one of the largest uh, exchanges out there. But look at these moves. Now remember, Forex only offers you if you're lucky to get 1%. Here we have Waves, Bitcoin, 17%. Tron in BTC, 5%. NEO in 4.15%. Ethereum Classic 3.9, and look at it on and on it goes. If you've been following me as well, you know uh, the charts that I have, I've got them all hooked up into my uh, different studies, as they call them in Motive Wave. They're kind of like 
really detailed. Some of these are really powerful um, indicators. But you do not, nothing matches the power of what Motive Wave offers out of box versus um, of uh, compared to other platforms that I've looked at, especially something like Paltry, Metatrade, or Nickel and Dime to get some decent uh, um, decent uh, indicators with. Okay, so I want to show you here. This is the Ichimochu. Uh, can never get. I, I just treat it like an Ichimochu cloud. Another part is about the, the neat thing about Motive Wave to get these kind of indicators coded up if they're done right is pretty rare. But uh, you have the ability here, if I can just get this clicked. Okay, so we want to e edit instrument. Uh, okay, no. Let me let me let me just pull up an, a clean a clean uh, chart here. So let's say I choose a simple pair like a Bitcoin in USD. <clears throat> so what happens is in the world of, of Motive Wave, um, you can look at the charts and data for Motive Wave uh, or sorry crypto through Coin Compare, but you can't trade anything. So I've got that solution all figured out now. So right now you're looking at a simple uh, Bitcoin USD. I'm going to remove these indicators or maybe I might be able to show you an example that I want to show here. Okay, so this is a typical study format. So we're looking at a study called Linear Regression Channel. I really like this. Um, again, all the visual out of box, ready to go. And I've been able to like figure out quick patterns with Motive Wave really fast. Trying to program it. Uh, combined with all the different things that you can do with Python, it could take you months. Back testing it. I'm just going over to my motorway playlist and video playlist on YouTube at Quant Labs, and you'll see what I mean. Very powerful stuff. So here we have the user profile. We have our colors and our parameters that we can have. But there's also this powerful, very powerful signal uh, usage. So here's a live alert here coming through. Tron BTC. This is RSI above the tolerance that I've set which means that's an entry or an exit. Okay, but here, what we're looking at is a signal. The powerful thing that enables me to trade with crypto is this. This option right here, when you enable it, right here. So if I enable, I can now send emails out to this address. And then I have at the other end, a crypto uh, sorry, a Python script that's listening to that uh, script. So let me show you how that all works. So in here, we've got two scripts. It's listening for these emails and processes them, and it generates orders for them based upon further criteria that I make available in Python. So what we're using Motive Wave for is the charting, the indicators, and when a signal comes up, it will send out a... Um, a uh, email based on that and there's three actually two parameters you can see I got the uh, markers here for the entry and exit using Ichimochu I can never say that properly I'm also using RSI for the exit potential this is just what I'm using now um, and it seems to work and I'm really happy on that so I've customized those studies to send out emails to my custom uh, email and then I have at the other end a Python script that will listen to that and then process the orders. On the other hand we also use the power of Redis open source true open source which is free to be able to handle the open position so what we're happening here is we have the capabilities of Python to receive the signal from Moto Wave, look at some other trading conditions before it sends it out to my choice of exchange crypto exchange as my example I use is Binance. Okay, so with that in mind, I can then take that, push that order into something like Redis, this is the Redis desktop manager, the client, and I'm able to have a little table set up as those orders come in and then have a, a second script that will handle um, the exit here. So it's gonna start managing each position that is made available in Redis, okay? And um, that's pretty the simplicity of it. I have absolute full control of how it works. 
and um, let me show you how everything works. So, as I said, um, here's here's the 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 entry in my elite membership. So this is made available to all my elite members, and again, you'll get that through the a Shopify uh, link that I've provided in this uh, video and uh, post. Okay, so here, here's what you get with that. So what I do is I provide a source code walkthrough. I also provide a 49 minute video of that. And I also provide some source code Python scripts, these particular ones that you're looking at and walks you through that process. Okay. So you might think that might be easy. It's not. I have to forewarn you on a few things. If you decide to join the elite membership, that's all cool and good, but there's a lot of things that you get available with that. You get six courses with this membership. So in there, if you wanted to build, let's say, a custom bot in Python, which I can do, I've got a course for that, that'll walk you through that. This course will also walk you through the um, Redis data management, it will walk you through how to interface with the exchange using a Python package called CCXT. It will also uh, walk you through a lot of uh, detailed infrastructure that you would want in a typical bot. So I got a lot of modules here. I do sell this on my you on my Shopify for three hundred bucks. So that's this is included in the elite. Okay, and it's a year membership annual. So with that mind, you got three other courses. So I provide the source code for that. And that you would need to understand how I build this little framework in Python to work with this these two Python scripts that I'm showing you. Because they work with Redis, you need to understand that. You also need to understand how to interface it with the CCXT to um, interface with your exchange of choice. Again, I'm using uh, I'm using uh, Binance and there's over a hundred plus exchanges that CCXT supports. So just to, to uh, hint a, a few other things about this membership, I've also included, if you want to do interactive brokers, I've got an API workshop on that. I've also got courses on uh, algorithms for futures and options. I've got one to show you how to look for patterns in Python using typical software de development, using logging and debugging techniques, old school, C style. Uh, <coughs> and I've also got an OP o o and a API workshop for Python as well. And that's just the beginning of it. Also, you get a 10 year uh, membership. Um, and also we've got a private forum that you can get in on. And on top of that, you get all of these um, other goodies that's pretty well about I used to say it's a, set, a 10 year archive, but it's actually uh, almost, a, well, it's almost a seven year archive. So there's literally thousands of archives or um, posts in this archive, it's huge. So that's pretty well it. I want to highlight how this can be done via Python, via Redis. And uh, if you're interested, you know where to sign up if you want. Once again, just go over to the store here at quantlabs.net. That'll take you over to the uh, Shopify. And then at the bottom, you should be able to find this logo, Quant Elite Membership, and add to the cart. Process, you're ready to go. All right, so that's pretty well it. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a good day. And again, thanks to Motiveway for making all this all happen. Um, without them, I don't think I'd be advancing as quick as I am for both crypto or pretty well any asset class I want to trade now. Out of box. Talk to you later.